What's up guys? Currently, I'm doing an iron to diamond climb. And throughout this entire climb, I'm gonna be doing informative commentary. And I believe this is probably the best and quickest way you can learn Katarina. I'm gonna go over everything. I'm gonna go over items, matchups, micro, macro, pretty much everything that I can teach you. So if you wanna learn Katarina quick and climb to diamond with me, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Also, if you wanna support the channel, make sure to like and comment for the algorithm. And if you wanna see short clips and random moments, tips that come from this series, make sure to follow me on TikTok. And I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. guys we are back our count is in silver four but we are playing with like mid high silvers and potentially we might be in smurf queue we don't know yet kind of feels like it i mean i can see maybe because our lp gains are really high uh gaining about like 25 per win and also we're getting a bunch of like random elos in certain games so it, it's kind of hard to say where or what elo we're in but i can say maybe it's probably around gold but aside from that i will teach you guys how to use electrocute all right this is gonna be full out electric electrocute gameplay so we're using it against ari now you can use it into champions where you just want to do short burst trades and just get out right or people that you don't want to really fight um just like with in a sustained fight right so like with ari you can kind of go either pre-6 but like after six she's a lot harder to like fight head on right she actually gets a lot of damage with her ulti a lot of mobility so when you get something like electric q you can actually just do a lot of upfront damage and just back up right or just burst people down straight up so Ari right now only has teleport I have ignite so I have more kill pressure in lane and electrocute's pretty simple to use very easy to use you just hit three abilities and auto attacks count as well right so you can auto attack three times proc electrocute Q dagger E they all proc electrocute so you just mix them up right if you just like lay a passive down, one of your passives down, and then you just E onto them and auto, boom. That's a uh, selection key proc right there. So I like hitting level two first when I'm uh, playing electric cube. So that's what I'm gonna go for. And at the same time, we have to dodge Ari's shit. We don't dodge that. She doesn't get the proc electric key there though. It's fine. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to hit two first here as well. Careful, Ari's gonna try to get you when she's farming. Alright, we're gonna hit two here. Now, I would go in and poke her out with Electrocute if she was still level one. But we hit two at the same time, so I'm just gonna chill out and wait till level three. It's gonna be a lot safer there. I could jump in on that, but if she has W, if she has E, she has all the mage minions, don't wanna go in yet. Level 3 is mainly when I want to go in. So right now we're just farming for level 3. Just trying to take as little poke as possible. We're still getting hit. Fine. We hit 3 here. Alright. And now when she's going for CS, right? It's Q. W. And just jump out. And that's, that's pretty much what it is with Electric Q. You just want to repeat that process right so she's already at like half health and so we're just gonna wait for the next opportunity to get electrocute remember electrocute is 30 seconds so it's coming up again soon she uses her Q here she's gonna try to walk up her farm boom that's fine she has no Q and we're gonna go in for the kill she actually doesn't end up flashing there, which is what I was expecting. I see the Evelyn there. Do they need my help? I'm a little bit low. I just want to get this wave shoved right now. She does flash, so that's fine with me. 
Now, we're in a very good spot. Arya actually TP's back. Bot lane's kind of getting owned, which is kind of unfortunate. And now, gonna back with a Blasting Wand, and now our Electrocutes should do even more. And we're just gonna repeat the process of setting up a Dagger, and then poking her with Electrocute in order for us to control the lane. So let's get, let's get back into lane. We're almost level 5. She is level 4. And we'll see if she walks up. Now, when we set up our Q, it actually has a pretty big range. Like, we can set up pretty far from us, you know what I mean? So it is actually applies a lot of pressure. Goes up for the Q, she might wanna... Ooh, that was a weird Q. So when you set up a Q, you wanna make sure you're kinda like parallel to them. You wanna get like consistent electric Q uh, procs off like that. Boom. Just hit the electric Q. And just back up. And you just keep doing that. That's how you pressure. So let's try it again. Once we get our Q back up and our E. She's walking up, she's walking up. There's a CS getting low. Q. Ah. Now we don't have electric up, but we have it up now. We're not going to jump on that because we want to set up our Q again. But not that time. Alright, so we're going to ward the bot side here. Does she want to back here? If I throw the Q, okay. You know what's another good thing? You don't even have to set up passives. That's probably the safest way to do it, but you can actually just like QE auto, right? QE auto, just walk away, can also proc electrocute. You don't proc electrocute there because we didn't auto. Because we're trying to dodge the charm at the same time, you know what I mean? She wants that cannon though. Ah. Okay, we're just gonna ulti there just just to uh, pressure her off of this wave. Electric Q also good for that as well. Got Evelyn here. Elise getting in, good. That's fine with me. I could have flashed, but I don't, I don't know if it was worth. Now I have Evelyn here. I do want to help out the bot lane. Bot lane looks like they're struggling just a little bit. Just jump out of that. Proc electrocute. She procs electrocute too, but she's she's oom. Um. So who really wins out here? You know. Now. I can just back up here. We're gonna get the Sork Shoes. Now the Sork Shoes would actually help us hit the Electric Cube procs even more consistently. Just because we have the extra movement speed, right? And it will help us dodge like Ari skill shots and stuff. So we're just gonna run back into lane. Bot lane looking pretty good. Alright, Mio guys. They, she could be going bot. Oh, she doesn't shove all the way so let's see let's see can we get another cannot okay she gets the, sh the shove we i don't think we've gotten a cannon yet ah if it would uh electrocute it's gonna ult all right and we get the kill now evelyn's level six should be okay though. You see how I got a lot of my burst damage off up front? When it comes to conquer, you can't really do that. With Electric Q, you can actually get a lot of your damage like up front first so that you know you get all your damage off. Evelyn, does she have all oh, it's not? Alright. Now we can go back into lane. Sadly, we can't push the wave in one go because we dis out decided to get the Sork Shoes instead of the, uh, the Amp Tome. 
but getting that shove is fine. We're going to back now for the Amp Tome. We have a lot of time for the next wave to come in, so we should be able to get back into lane just nicely. And uh, we can go into this. So we'll just start going into our... Uh, just complete our Nasher's Tooth here. Ari's level 7, I'm level 8. Now Ari's walking up again. She doesn't have ult. So if I just EWQ, E auto, E ult. And then Q. Won't kill her, sadly. But, it's the beauty of using Electrocute there. Just being able to get that Electrocute proc just with like E auto, right? Now, Evelyn can come out. Yep, just where? I don't think she kills me. Should be good. Nah, I baited her <laughs> to use it. You walk towards her just for a split second, and then you jump out. Bait her to use the ulti real quick. Alright. It's funny how little movements like that can actually uh, make a pretty big difference, right? Like, people notice it, and you notice it too. When you do it yourself, when other people do it. Sorry, there's a train. Alright, I think it's passed. Alright, now, the way we pressure Ari is just by... Procking Electric Q, setting up Q, she's always staying up really close to me, you know? You, you notice that, right? So if she's gonna ulti right off the bat without me just even doing anything, then I'm completely okay with that. Now, I'm not getting the auto attacks on these charms because... or on these, uh... Daggers, just because I don't want to get charmed, right? So I don't try to auto. I try to get the auto... I try to get the auto when I know it's like a good time for me to do it and get the electrocute or if I can just do it instantly and back right but sometimes I use the I use the uh just I just try to move out of the way good I knew Evelyn was coming but a feeling I could just like fight her and she doesn't have ult so she's not that scary. Boom. Electrocute. Oh, couldn't get my Q off. So it's really simple to just proc electrocute. Just like E auto Q. That's all you need sometimes. Now we're gonna get the Nasher's Tooth. Go back into lane. Look at bot lane. Bot lane doing alright? I think they're doing alright. All right, we go back into lane and Ari again just does not learn from just like W. Q E auto. Proc the electric Q, she gets scared, she's got a back. She's gonna run into an Udyr here. Okay, she ults. She's been pushing up like every time and I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. But we're gonna push in. This, cool. We'll let Udyr take that. Alright, so let's get bottom. Samira? Okay, Lulu has no R. Try to come down and do something here, but we gotta watch out for the Polymorph. But the beauty is that we might be able to get the reset with Electric Cube before Lulu can react. W. Boom, Electric Cube. W. Cute. You like how the electrocute killed the Lulu there? <laughs> Alright. Show you something nifty. I don't know what's warded, but.
We have our electrocute proc up, right? So we can do something like that. Just burst them immediately and then jump out. It's beauty of electrocute right there. Just straight up front burst, just boom, in your face, right away. What we like to see. Then we go into Proto. And Alternator also does a pretty good job of like synergizing with your Electric Q2 since it's just up front burst once again. All right, we go back into mid lane. You know, I actually think Electrocute is probably the easiest one to use and what I would recommend. I think it's like still very good as a rune. There's just some matchups where like Conquer is just gonna be more effective into certain matchups, all right? Tap in here, there's a Yone. Two. Ooh, what do you have? I didn't know that slows. Did that slow? Alright, back into the mid lane. Ari gets the hard shove. We're just going to shove back and see what's up. Got the Evelyn here. Okay. What the? Place the W. Nice. Just big burst damage up front, allowing us to get the reset just with the electrocute before the polymorph could even go off, you know? That's what electrocute's all about. Just want to get that reset, that initial target you just like kill, right? It's mainly how you play like burst cat. Electrocute is a good example of it, right? Using it to get the reset. Well, that is one way to use Electrocute. GG's.